What is up, you guys? It is Parker here with Deco Exchange. Y'all, we've got another great tutorial out today, and I just wanted to remind you guys to subscribe to our channel, like the video down below, and at the very least, y'all, leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Hope you enjoy. All right. So I was thinking, though, that I decorated my uh, porch today and my mailbox and everything else, but everyone else's mailbox on my street is looking a little rough. So, I think I'm going to take a little bit of patriotic colored ribbon and a little mesh, and I'm going to measure myself a 25 inch piece. Y'all, how many of you have extra rolls of ribbon laying around? Scraps. Not enough to make a whole wreath. And how many of you have, like, the end of a roll of 10-inch mesh laying around? That isn't enough to work with. So, you know, kind of our motto all week has been to be a little bit nicer to people, right? So I think uh, what I'm going to do is make a few bows and just put them on a few random mailboxes in my neighborhood. Who knows? Maybe that'll be enough to start a little bit of chatter in our neighborhood about where people can order a bow, where they can get a wreath. All right. So I'm going to measure about 12 inches right? A little random act of kindness out of our scraps, y'all. Y'all, there's 1,300 people here. If all of y'all make three bows and give them to a random stranger for their mailbox, that's 3,900 people that we can make smile. So we're just going to make a simple bow. Eight inch loop, eight inch tail, 12 inch tail. Y'all, and listen, if you don't have extra patriotic, I bet you have an extra roll or scrap in your red Christmas ribbon. All right, so for me, I'm going to do two layers of each. So each loop is just getting a little bit smaller. Y'all, if your neighborhood starts randomly start getting random bows on, even if it's like on a park tree or something, put your business card on it. Why not?
All right, gonna get it tied off. Get it good and twisted. All right. Now, if you're just gonna put a single bow, I highly recommend you grab a little bit of mesh, curl the ends just a little bit, make yourself a nice little ruffle and add that on the back of your bow. It'll help make your bow stay perky out in the middle of the elements. All right, so this whole, this whole bow might cost me a dollar fifty to make. So you've got pipe cleaner. Just tie it right on the mailbox post. All right, one little patriotic bow ready for a neighbor. All right, good night, y'all.